So what's going on guys and welcome to our very first video that will be our Herfer Berlin career mode. It was very, very tight between Herfer Berlin and Newcastle, but Herfer Berlin were the winners by around about four or five votes. So therefore, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone that has in fact voted um, for your team. I'm sorry if you voted for a team that I haven't in fact took up, but obviously... I've done my very best and I had to go with the majority vote, which was in fact Herfer Berlin. So let's see how well we do. We are going to download the latest squad and obviously because they're not in the Champions League or anything, we're going to leave it as it is and we're going to advance. So we are going to be playing on Legendary in Euros and we're going to download the latest squads. So I am actually really looking forward to doing this crew mode, mainly because I haven't done a crew mode before with a team in Germany in the Bundesliga. So I think it would be nice to mix something up and even though I would have liked to do Newcastle, I think it's probably, for me, it's probably going to be more interesting doing the Herfer Berlin crew mode because that way I then now can try a different league and it's not going to be too repetitive of playing the Premier League over and over again so we can have a little bit of an insight to different things. So we are going to be changing up things and we are going to be called Mr Skittles just to see um, just a random name because I've got a packet of Skittles in front of me. Um, but anyway, I am actually, like I said, looking forward to using this career mode and I'm also hoping that we can try and bring in a few new players that uh, obviously can hopefully try and boost the squad just a little bit more. But the problem was her for Berlin, they haven't got that much money, so we're not going to be able to bring in the big names at the very start. But one player I do really want to try and bring in is Delhi Ali from Tottenham. So of course we are going to go ahead and accept the international competition that we are going to go into. We've got three to choose from and I think we're going to go ahead and choose the hardest possible one which actually has Newcastle in our league. So let's see how we can get on as we can go ahead and actually win 8 million euros extra if we can somehow manage to win that tournament which I'm hoping we can try and do well. But in our group we've got Newcastle, Hull and West Brom. So we've got a very difficult group but let's see. First of all, have a look at all the different stuff. So as you see at the European Cup the domestic cup objective, they want us to reach the round of 32. They think we should look for a striker, which is fair enough, which I think we also should look for a striker. Uh, the first scout has arrived, introduced myself, and the league objective, they want us to finish mid-table, which I think is a pretty reasonable objective. And let's have a look at a few strikers that they have scouted for us. So Paulson looks pretty decent. He may be something decent that we can maybe try and bring in. Marco Rossi, yeah, I'm sure we haven't even got enough money to buy a player like him. Nicholas Bentler, I don't think we should buy him. But I am happy. I think the squad looks pretty decent, as I'm going to show you guys now. I think with a lot of work, it can turn into a really good squad. So a lot of the people do look pretty decent. Um, obviously, John Anthony Brooks is probably going to be one of our best players. Our centre-back, 22 years of age. But a lot of the players are mid-70s, high-70s. Solomon Kalou is actually a 77 rated. I'm not actually that fond on Solomon Kalou. I'm not really sure why, but I've never really have done. When he was at Chelsea, I didn't really like him. So maybe we're going to try and offload him and bring in another player to replace him. But I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to wait and see when we analyse the squad properly. But as you can see from the players, we have got a very big squad as well. So from this big squad, Hopefully, we can try and get rid of a few players, bring in a few more, a bit more money, and obviously try and sign them few uh, decent players. So there are two players that our scout has scouted for us that look pretty decent. Nabil Fekir and Juan Fernando Quintero. So we're going to inquire about both of them and let's see what Leon and let's see what Stad Rene say. Obviously we can't go for Stad Rene because he's on loan there. But Nabil Fekir I would love to bring in but I do think he's probably going to cost quite a bit of money and obviously we don't have that much money at this moment in time as we only have... Um, 12.8 million and 130,000 on the wage budget. But we're going to have a look at some players and I think we'll put a few up for sale and let's see if any of the players we put up for sale we can get a little bit of money for. So Delhi Ali for me is probably our main transfer target. I'd love to bring him into the club. So we are going to approach Spurs to buy him, but I do think Spurs are probably going to want quite a bit of money for him. So we are going to go ahead and offer 2 million plus a player that we maybe already have that we're not planning on using, but I don't really know the squad at all. So if we're going to get rid of anything, I think we should probably get rid of a centre midfielder. So maybe this guy, Jens Hegler, is 27 years of age. So we're going to offer 2.5 million plus this guy. Let's see if Tottenham accept that, but I very much doubt it only just signed a new contract for the club. 
So we are going to move into the first game, which is going to be against Hull. So we're going to go ahead and sim it. And this is the game that we've definitely got to win. Because if we don't win this one, it means we're going to have to win the next two, which in theory are two harder games. So hopefully we can come out on top and win the game. Yes, we do. We win 4-0. Kalu, Ben Hatira, Stocker and Scheiber all scoring the goals for us. And that's a fantastic result for us. Four goals. So that really does our goal difference a Really good um, thing to do as well there. And Newcastle also drew. Nabil Fakir, they're saying they want 28 million. So there's no way we can go ahead and afford this guy because we just don't even have that money. And even if we did, that's way too much money to spend on one player alone. And apart from that, I don't think we're going to be able to buy many more players. Well, obviously, we can buy a few more players, but we're going to have to wait and see uh, see which ones I do want to go ahead and splash the cash out on. Uh, they're saying they don't want to sell Delhi Ali. They're not interested in the player that we've offered. So we're going to go ahead and offer a straight 5 million bid for uh, Delhi Ali because I desperately want this guy. But we have got the next game now up against West Brom. We are going to sim this one as well. So we're going to sim pretty much all the games of the European International Cup. Can we go ahead and beat West Brom? It would be a fantastic result if we could. Yes, we do. We go ahead and win 3-0. And that was with getting a player sent off as well. Lankamp, Ben Hatira and Solomon Kalou all scoring the goals. How are we doing this? We haven't conceded a goal and we've scored seven in two games. So these are the five players we are going to be putting on the training for the time being until we bring in a few more players. Solomon Kalou, Weiser, Stark, Sigurchi and Langkamp. So obviously I'm not going to be good at pronouncing all these names at first. So make sure if I'm struggling with a name, you let me know in the comments down below if I'm pronouncing anyone wrong. But it's really good there. They're all three of the players in the middle all got A ratings. So that's brilliant. So Spurs say it's unacceptable because they want 8 million for Delhi Ali. So they want quite a bit of money for him. So I'm not actually prepared to pay 8 million. So what I think we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and offer 5 million plus a random player that we can put in there to hopefully try and convince them to let him go. So maybe this guy here, Alexander Bagjojum, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but I will send them to him. But I very much doubt Spurs are going to go ahead and want a player like him. Uh, Yusuf Paulson is currently a 70 rated striker, so he's not that good. Um, he might be something decent we could maybe try and bring in for a backup striker. So maybe if we offer around about 1.5 million for him, that might convince um, RB Lacepig to let him go. But I very much doubt that. Um, also, another player that we're looking at is this guy, Timo Werner. He looks pretty decent, 19 years of age, from Stuttgart. So now we're going to move into the final game of the group stage, which is going to be up against Newcastle. But it doesn't even matter if we lose this game because we're currently on six points. Newcastle are on four points. So it doesn't make any difference whatsoever if we go ahead and lose it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to change out the whole squad, which then means the next our full team squad will be fit enough for the next game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change everyone out and then we're going to sim the game up against Newcastle. So now we've changed the whole squad up, we're going to go ahead and sim the game up against Newcastle and it doesn't really matter what we get from this result because they drew the first game 1-1 West Brom and then they'd won 4-0 against Hull. So I've but we've taken the lead just two minutes in and we end up winning the game 4-1. Stocker scoring uh, one, Schreiber scoring two and Ayagi scoring one. How have we won this game with our second team lineup? 4-1 we've won. It's just incredible. And we get given 1.3 million, which is obviously really good news for us. And that's a little bit extra money we can go ahead and spend on a few players. Obviously, we're trying to bring in as Delhi Ali is probably our main transfer target. And I also want a speedy striker as well that can step in as well. So maybe Timo Werner can step up to that role. But our next game will be in the semi-final of the cup, which is going to be up against Las Palmas. So in theory, that should be an easier game than um, Newcastle. But we're not 100% sure. But what I'm going to go ahead and do now is offer a straight 7 million bid for Delhi Ali. I do believe he's going to be around about 70 rated. But I do know he's got potential of around about 70. Not 87, sorry. It's a massive potential. So now we're going to go ahead and sim this game up against Las Palmas. And if we win the game, we will then move into the final of the European International Cup. We've won every game quite comfortable so far. So can we go ahead and beat UD Las Palmas? Yes, we can. We score um, in the 46th minute as we actually went 1-0 down as well. Ben Hatira and Ibi Civic scoring the goals for us. And we end up winning 2-1. So now we're in the final of the cup. 
And that means we get given an extra three million euros, which then allows us to go ahead and obviously try and bring in that one more transfer player that we want. And fantastic news for us now is Spurs have accepted a deal for Deli Ali. Deli Ali then wants 30,000 a week, which we're going to go ahead and give him. We have a four year deal, and he will be an important first team player if he does come in because I will be playing him pretty much every week. And I do know there are going to be a few players that are not going to be happy with that. A few people that think, well, why are you bringing in a young player that's not as good? You're probably going to be overspending on him. But I think that's worth it. And Timo Werner is actually a 73 rated striker. He looks pretty good. He's got really good sprint speeds. So I am actually going to go ahead and try and buy him from Stuttgart. They currently want, a, they said that the deal could go, go, go ahead. So we're going to go ahead and offer 3.75 million for the young guy. And let's see if they'll accept it. It'd be fantastic if they do. So now it's time to move into the final of the competition, which is going to be up against Lille, the French side. And we are going to go ahead and sim this one as well. They actually beat Newcastle 3-1, so it was a big victory for them up against Newcastle. It's going to be a difficult game for us, but can we go ahead and win the competition? No, we can't. We end up losing it 1-0. Buffal scores the goal, and it was Lustenberg that got sent off. That guy has got sent off twice now, but still, I thought we'd done really well, considering we simmed all of them. And I wanted to sim them because I wanted to get straight into the league action as I'm really looking forward to starting this career mode with uh, Hertha Berlin. But we are going to go ahead and do the training once again. This is going to be the third training. Can anyone go up? Yes, they can. Stark has now gone up to 72 rated. And I do believe this guy could turn into a pretty decent player if we continue training him. And uh, we're still waiting for Delhi Ali to come back to us regarding whether he's going to accept his contract or not. I am hoping he has done, but we've got a few things come back for us here. And Delhi Ali has, in fact, accepted his contract. So he is the first player coming into the club, which is brilliant news for us there, as Delhi Ali, the 19-year-old, has joined us. Also, Timo Werner and Stuttgart have accepted the 3.75 bid for the young guy, 19 years of age. He looks very decent, so we're going to go ahead and offer him a, a contract, and let's see if we can convince him to come to Hertha Berlin. And I do think he probably will be taking the first-team lineup as well, as he does look pretty good. We've also got a transfer offer for now for Ronnie, uh, for 1.8 million from Stuttgart. I'm going to go ahead and up it to 2.5 which is 500,000 over his valuation, and I will happily let him go if they do go ahead and accept that, because obviously he hasn't got that much potential in him, and I'm not actually, he's not in my plans to use him at all. Maxwell Corner, another young player, 68 rated, he doesn't look too bad, he might be a decent player that we could maybe try and bring in, that he could come in uh, off the bench a few times, as he might be able to terrorise the defenders, but I'm not 100% sure where I want to go ahead and offer more money for a player. But... What I want to do is go and have a look and see how good Delhi Ali is. I'm hoping he's going to be around about the 70, 71 mark. Let's have a look. He's currently 72 rated, which is really good for us there. He's got 85 stamina, which will mean, obviously, he's going to be able to play a lot of games. He can play CM, CAM, and CDM. He's got three-star skills, three-star weak foot, and this guy looks an absolute monster. And obviously, I'm going to be playing him in our first team lineup as I'm really looking forward to using him and obviously the team. So we get another transfer offer now for our 76-rated centre-back. And this guy looks pretty decent, so I don't want to be letting him go. He's currently valued at 4.9 million, so I'm going to go ahead and up it to, uh, I'm going to say, 8.25 million. If, they, if Levante come back to us and say, yes, we will match that, then I will happily let him go. Because with 8.25 million, we can go ahead and bring in another decent centre-back. Because obviously, I do believe he is our first-team lineup centre-back as well. So we don't really want to be letting him go, but we'll have to wait and see what they come back for us and say. And Timo Werner has in fact accepted his contract, so he's yet another player coming into the club. So we've brought in two young players, Dele Ali and Timo Werner, and I think they might actually both be starting players. So Stuttgart have come back to us and said they will go ahead and match the deal of 2.5 million for Ronnie, so it looks like he will be on his way out of the club. And Levante have come back to us and said they'll only up it to 6.5 million, which I'm sorry guys, no, you're not gonna have him for 6.5 million. 8.3 million or nothing. I'm not going any lower than that. So it doesn't look like they're going to stretch their budget to go ahead and um, obviously try and lure him away from Hertha Berlin. So now we've come back into the training. I am going to leave these two, these three on it at the moment, but I am going to take Stark out because obviously I want to be putting Delhi Ali in because Delhi Ali, I do know, has got tons of potential. So Delhi Ali will be coming in and he'll be going on to El Rondo. And we're going to take Sigurdsson out and we're going to put our new striker that we've just brought Werner in because I do believe if we put him on um, to beat your man to try and get him to improve his stamina and etc I think this guy could turn into a real world-class striker 
So we've now got a transfer offer for Sami Ayagi. Um, he's currently for Stuttgart as well. So Stuttgart want to take away our right midfielder. He's only 29, so I don't really want to get rid of him because I think he could be a decent player to come off the bench a few times. But if they go ahead and up it to 2.75, 2.8 million, um, then obviously I will let him go because he's not that good. And I do believe for 2.8 million, we could bring in another decent player. And also Ronnie has left the club and he's gone to Stuttgart. So Stuttgart are raiding us and they're wanting to buy players. But another player I would like to go in for is Danny Sebelos um, from, um, where's he from? I'm not actually 100% sure where he's from, but he does, he was really good when I actually brought him in my Tottenham career mode and I would like to bring him in. He's currently from Betis, so he's got an, an, an excited prospect next to his name. Um, he's currently on 10,000 a week, so I'm going to go ahead and offer a 2.5 million bid for him, which I think would be a decent bid, bid, uh, bid for him because we've actually got that money for Ronnie. So if we can swap him for Ronnie, that would be a fantastic deal for us. So Real Betis do have to come back to us and say they don't want to accept it because that's too low for him, which is fair enough. So we're going to go in for uh, Sebelos again because I would want to bring him in because I do really like this player. So we're going to up it to 3.7 or 3.8 million. Let's see if that can lure him away. If not, we'll uh, go ahead and offer a player to see if Betis want a player of ours. And Stuttgart come back to us and say they don't believe Sami Alagi is worth that much. Therefore, they are not going to pursue him anymore. But we have got another player training development. Uh, Deli Ali and Werner, as you guys do know, have now been put into the training and hopefully they can start getting some good ratings and obviously start building their way up to the next rating. But we've got yet another transfer. This time it's for Valentin Stocker. He's currently 26 years of age. He's 78 rated. He's in excellent form and I don't want to let this guy go. So unless they go ahead and offer around about 25 million, there is no way I'm going to let him go because he is definitely in my plans to be playing week in, week out. So we're also going to go in for this guy here, Mbai Niang. He's currently from Milan. He's showing great potential. And I do think he could be a fantastic player if we could try and bring him in. So we're going to go ahead and offer five, uh, no, not quite so much, four million for him. And uh, let's see if they'll accept that. Because he can also play right wing, left wing and striker. So he can be a very versatile player. And he might actually be able to work himself into the first team lineup. You never know. So Milan come back to us and say they want 7 million for Niang. Balagna come back to us and say they don't think Stocker is actually worth that much, which is fair enough. And Real Betis also come back to us and say they're not interested in Ban Johan, uh, so we won't out be able to offload him. But I do really want to try and bring in Danny Sebelos, so maybe we can try and uh, take out this guy, Raw Behrens, and three, let's up it to 4 million. So 4 million plus this random guy that we're probably not going to be using. Let's see if that can try and convince him to leave Real Betis. And the other person was Milan uh, for Mbai Niang. They don't want to let him go, so we'll go ahead and offer another player. So maybe Sami Alagi plus 4 million. I'm not sure whether Milan are actually going to want this guy, but you never know. So another player we'd love to bring in is this guy, Renato Sanchez from Benfica. He looks an absolute monster. He's only 17 years of age, and this guy could be an absolutely incredible player if we could bring him in. And I am actually prepared to go ahead and offload quite a bit of money for him. Um, so I will go ahead, and this might surprise you, because I'm going to go ahead and maybe try and get rid of a decent player. Maybe this guy, plus around about 3 million for him, and that's a hell of a lot of money for a 17-year-old. So we've also got a transfer offer for now for Alexander Bam Johan, which we're actually trying to get rid of anyway from Stuttgart. So Stuttgart's wanting every one of our players. So maybe 4 million, basically 4 million and then they can have him, but I don't think they're going to double what they've just offered. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to bring in Mbai Niang, because as you can see there, they've accepted a bid of 8 million from Athletic Bilbao. Real Betis have once again come back to us and said they don't want to let Danny Sebelos go, which is unfortunate for us, and I don't know what we can try and do to get him or to get Real Betis to accept because it doesn't look like they want him to let him go at all. So there's not many other players we can go ahead and offer. Maybe this guy, but still, I think it's because they want around about seven or eight million for him, which I'm just not prepared to give him. However, they come back to Stuttgart and say obviously they don't want him because they believe that's too much for him. Benfica do come back to us and say they don't want to go ahead because they're not interested in the player that we have offered. And Schalke come back and say they want 9.5 million for Sane, as I do think this guy looks an absolute genius. But I don't want to be spending that much money on a player of that's 19 years of age. But Benfica, I do really want to try and get this guy. So they don't want um, Bam Johan. So maybe if they don't want him, we can try and get rid of Alagi plus 4 million for Renato Sanchez because I do think this guy could be an absolute magician in the midfield. Him and Deli Ali could really work well together.
But that is actually going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be hugely appreciated as obviously this is the first episode of our Herfa Berlin Krimmer. Hopefully it's going to be our first of many more to come. And make sure you come back very, very soon for the next episode of whatever that career mode might be. But I will be running this one alongside the portion of career mode, but I am really looking forward to this. So our next game in the episode, which is going to be up against Augsburg, away from home. Let's see if we can pick up all three points. Points, But you're going to have to come back next episode to find out. Thank you. Bye-bye.